Alright guys, welcome to the second part of this Airlift 3H kit install on my Turbo E36. I'm actually going to run to Lowe's. I need to pick up a small extension for uh, my drill in order to get access to one point um, for the rest of the installation. But, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so it actually is pretty dark now. I spent a couple hours uh, editing some videos. But now that I'm back and I got the 90 degree tool that I need for the drill, let's get started. So the rear air springs are all set and then we got one strut left here one struts already installed looks very pretty all right so we're gonna fast forward to tomorrow to get to the wiring and the airlines so that you don't have to see the second strut installed all right guys so I got my air hose for the front strut ready to be installed so I'm gonna start attaching all the rest of the fittings now The wiring fed through to the trunk for the height sensor on the driver's side in the front. Now to feed this air hose all the way back through. Alright, so I got the hose fed through, gave myself plenty of slack so that I can attach a straightened out uh, clothes hanger. And then I can aim it downwards again and then feed it through the grommet that comes out into the front uh, wheel well. Alright, so there's a bunch of wiring on the ground over there. I didn't bother really filming that because it's just splicing things together as per the instructions right here. Alright, so now that the wiring loom is all set, I'm pretty much just splicing it into the compressors, the battery, the controller, and then the ignition source from the fuse box.
All right guys, so the wiring and all the plumbing, air fittings and stuff is all mocked up correctly. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So I didn't mount anything down to the actual spare tire unit just yet, mainly because I just wanted to verify that everything works. Um, I also need a spacer for this bracket because the drain fitting is actually hitting the bottom of the spare tire well. So the basic layout is the power wires are all um, spliced up to the power cord of the car. I ended up wiring all the ground terminals to the other end of this terminal for the battery itself um, so that it hides underneath this plastic tray. All the air hoses are bundled up towards the top right there and are feeding into the controller right here. Um, and all the wiring is bundled up, hidden back here for now. I'm gonna create a nice plate to remount the amp that I have for the sub, which is gonna go back into there. Um, we do some wiring there later. But for now, all the wiring loom is gonna be here, but I might relocate everything down below here to make like kind of like a channel as I kind of customize this trunk layout to kind of suit the air setup. All right, so that's the end of this video. And if you guys like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate all your support. So in the next video, I'm gonna be calibrating the entire air setup for the 3P system. I'm still not sure where to mount all the height sensors. I know that it's really important to mount them correctly. And based on the width of my rear tire, I feel like the best mounting locations for those height sensors might hit the actual tire itself. So I really don't know until I verify that the entire system works as a 3P setup first. Um, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, wow. Look at that. You must have done this before. Oh, yeah. Or you must be really good with your hands.